Hey everybody, Economic Ninja here. I hope you're doing well. I want to do a, a video today and I'm going to entitle it, uh, People Will Starve with Fully Stocked Supermarkets. And the reason why I want to do this video, and I think it's very, very important, and we're going to use Europe as an example right now, because Europe is in an absolute crisis when it comes to their energy markets, but it's about to flow into their food markets. And I believe we're going to see this all around the world, uh, where you have a fully stocked grocery store, but people outside starving, all right? Because of a wealth gap, a disparity between um, how much money you can spend on food and how much, you know, just how much you have, your resources. Right now, inflation is gripping the world. And in Europe, uh, to say uh, the energy crisis is due to inflation is an understatement. People are freaking out and don't even have the money to heat their homes, let alone feed themselves. And in Europe, there's many places that are going to have harsh, harsh winters. And I believe that that energy crisis can actually move into the US too, but that's not really the point of this video. The point of the video is throughout history, when there has been hyperinflation, you could go through grocery stores and always find, sorry about that, always find um, high-end food. The expensive food is always on the shelf. Although the fine cuts of meat usually go rotten and bad, so the butchers have to throw them out, the fine cuts of cheese. But what's always gone is the bargain basement crap food, right? Um, those are gone. As a matter of fact, we saw it sort of like an irrational behavior when we had uh, the whole place shut down, let's say a couple years ago, when people were running out with boxes of Top Ramen and big things of toilet paper. Because they look at how much, or actually how little money they have, and they run to the store and try and gobble as much stuff as they can up. In this case, what I'm talking about is food, right? So they're getting all the things of Top Ramen, all of the um, things of Kraft Mac and Cheese. And the problem is, is once that's gone, it's very hard to replenish because you have more people with less money, so they're all vying for the same thing. The lowest stuff at the grocery store, give me the cheapest stuff possible. And because they don't have money, they look at these fine cuts of beef, and these are the things that go unwanted or un, you know, used in the grocery store and get either thrown away or they're just there, right? Um, and the grocery stores have problems because they can't lower their price. They're going to be losing money on this stuff. And they can't go and restock the st shelves with Kraft Mac and cheese, Top Ramen. Sorry, I'm not trying to beat up on anybody's diets, but the point being is that um, because the masses need the cheaper food because they don't have the money because they were not prepared for this, um, they can't restock those shelves because the, the companies are just tapped out. They're like, you know, we can only get so much in. And because inflation's raging, they can't go and get the ingredients and keep selling the, the food at the current price. So even the cheap food goes up. So you have the expensive food that's always higher and the cheap food keeps going up as well. And people keep diving into the cheap stuff. Then you have the problem of hoarding because once people figure out, oh my gosh, this is an ending. And the problem with humans is that they owe, if, if it's like they weren't used to inflation because we didn't have inflation yesterday, we didn't have inflation today, then all of a sudden it hits. Once they figure out this hasn't, this isn't ending, they think it's going to be on going on forever. So then they go really big, and people have really irrational times, and they're going and they're fighting, they're trying to grab stuff. As a matter of fact, I saw fights, you know, yelling and shoving breaking out in a Costco once because people were trying to grab toilet paper, and this was as everything was shutting down. I go, I know you guys all saw the videos or pictures of, of lines across the store just getting one package of toilet paper because the world was ending, right? Well, the problem is, is that same exact uh, momentum is about to hit the food lines. And I'm not saying it's going to happen tomorrow, okay? You're hearing this early. I tend to put out warnings months, even six, seven months before it happens. Um, like when lumber was going up and people were buying up lumber like crazy and they're freaking out that lumber is going to keep going. And I said, don't worry, it's going to crash. And I knew the month because I knew that food and fuel inflation was going to start to move into this country. And people would go, heck with building we need this. And so I want people to think about it now. If you don't have an emergency food supply, I would get one because I believe that you are going to see food inflation continue to rage on, but actually get worse as unemployment increases. We're going to see people go through like a panic mode where they stop paying certain bills and they start diving into their, their necessities, right? Food, shelter, um, energy, and we're going to see a rapid uptick in the price of all three of those um, when it comes to temporary shelter, heating, you know, energy, and then food. 
And I think uh, without you know, good nourishment in your belly, you, you don't think clearly. And I think this is one of the most key fundamentals to being ready to uh, take advantage of a situation, but also to be able to help people. And I think that's why it's very vital that you take the time to really come up with a plan with your family of, you know, hey, what do we normally eat? Is there any of this that we could store, you know, for a couple of years and just go buy now and literally lock your prices in? Because there has been tons of warnings by very, very famous and well-known intelligent individuals saying, this is going to get bad. And as we move into this winter, I think you're gonna see a lot of people really start to panic. And that panic buying is going to even create because the velocity of money is gonna pick up and you have more dollars chasing fewer food goods, you're going to see that increase dramatically, the price, okay, and the shortages. So I want to share that with you. Guys, think now. Ninja Nation is a nation of human beings worldwide that are gonna be prepared and not scared. Do not become part of the masses that are confused and freaking out like we saw in 2020, all right? Guys, I hope you got something out of this because honestly, this is a message of hope and excitement. When you know something's coming, you know the train's coming, you're on the tracks, all you gotta do is move away. The person you're warning, if they just keep telling you, no, there's no train coming, you move out and they get smacked, that's on them. All right, guys, that being said, the Economic Ninja is out.